St. Francis of Assisi presents In the Name of Jesus. I believe it's time to ring the bell, Brother Bernard. Yes. You must understand, it is as a seed that grows into many plants. Yes, but why do you wish to send us out to preach? We're not ready for that. For thus it is written, all the brothers must go out into the world as they did at the time of the apostles. You know that when Jesus chose the twelve, it was not to keep them by his side, but instead he sent them out two by two with just a bag and a stick to preach the gospel. And I will do the same thing because all of you, my brothers, are like the knights of the round table, traveling the world fighting evil everywhere. We are also knights, knights of Jesus Christ. Yes, Julian, tell me what is in your heart. But how can I speak about the word of God? I'm just, I'm just an ignorant man who has sinned. Yes, of course. Brother Julian, you are ignorant, but when you speak his words, all the words that come from your mouth will have come only from the Lord. Brother Bernard, you can start by giving us an example. Speak the word of God to us. How can a nobody like me speak about God, Brother Francis? I feel comfortable talking about my Father who is in heaven. And I could speak about his beloved son, Jesus of Nazareth, the Messiah, and how he was obedient to the end. And he died to save me, an infamous sinner, and with me, all the sinners of this world. God is mighty, and he is glorious. God is fire, and that fire explodes with passion in the hearts of all men who love him and call upon him sincerely. And he loves all mankind enough to save it from ruin. Lord Almighty, creator of the heavens and the earth, he has brought eternal salvation to the poor, lepers, abandoned children, all who ask for mercy. Splendid, Julian. See how easy? If you truly love God, you will see that he loves you too. Go then, and allow me to suggest one more thing. When you are hungry, do not show your despair. Always appear serene, because poverty and fasting should make you free and happy. Do this and your road won't be so hard. But must we leave right now? Of course, there's no time like the present. Bernard will travel with John, Philip with Massius, Andrew with Julian, Pedro with Ferdinand, Elias with Cesario, and Giles with Thomas. Now, go and spread his word. Is nobody coming with me? You forgot me, Brother Francis. I'm all alone. You're coming with me. You'll be my companion. Someone's coming. Yes, brother? And how may I be of service to you? I am a Christian like you, brothers. Then perhaps you can direct us to your church. There is a church, but the Muslims have barred the door. Leave here if you wish to live.
I don't understand. Why do you run away from us? Because Christians are forbidden in this city. If they do not leave here before the sun sets, then they are beheaded without question. Do you understand? But if we can't stay in the city, how will the Muslims be able to hear the words of Jesus? No, you don't understand. If you want to save the souls of these Muslims, it is necessary that you still have a head. But we have nowhere else to go. Follow me. I'll take you someplace where it's safe. Nobody will disturb you in this place. This cave used to be the hermitage of a saint. When the Muslims conquered the city, the hermit tried to turn them to Christ. But when he wasn't able to, they cut off his head. This is the fate I'm trying to save you from. Huh? Now I must go. I have to get back to the city before they close the gates. <laughs> In the name, in the name of, of the Father, Father the, Son, the Son, and, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to God Most High in the heavens and on earth, and peace and goodwill to all men everywhere. You bless us, O Lord. We give you thanks. We worship and glorify you. All praise be to you, O Lord. Pedro, there are more coming, but who are they? Who are you? Why have you come to us? We are poor and we are Christians. The hermits who lived here before you always gave us something to eat. Unfortunately, this loaf of bread is all we have. I am sorry. Huh? There's still more people coming. Look! It's a caravan of Christian merchants. They pay the toll and go to Malaga. They will stop at the well outside the city walls. This is Providence. Thank you, brother. Alms, brother, for the poor? You are Christians? Huh? Huh? Priests, perhaps? We're not priests. We are friars of Brother Francis of Assisi. But Assisi is so far away. How did you get all the way here? Why, we came here by foot. You mean to tell me you walked all this way to beg? You could have done that in Assisi. No, oh, I'm kidding. You must be penitent. Well, considering the length of your trip, the least I can do is give you a piece of silver. No, brother, thank you. But money is of no use to us. We only accept food to give to the poor. But with the money I gave you, you could buy all the bread you want. No, brother. In order to buy food, we would have to enter the city. And if we do that, I'm sure they'll cut off our heads. I see you have a point. Thank you, brother. You're very it's generous. Nice. Please, take this. Praise Jesus, fresh bread. I was so hungry. Thank you. Praise Jesus, thank fresh you. bread. I thank you for my children. Huh? Oh, no! Soldiers! They mean to harm us. We must save the children. Quickly, children, into the cave. Just passing through? Most people seem to know exactly what to do when we arrive. Those people were very hungry, and so we fed them, that's all. Allah will be grateful for that, but you have broken the law. Christians cannot remain in this area, otherwise they lose their heads. Do you understand me? <gasps> this time you get a warning, but spend another night here and I won't be so lenient. We did not want to offend anyone. We've traveled a long way, and we only stopped to rest. Our heads are in God's hands. Yes, huh? yes, but soon they could be in the hands of our justice. Allah is forgiving, infinitely merciful, and also he is our caliph. So I think perhaps we could reach some kind of an understanding. God is merciful, and he is infinitely merciful. I see you huh? do not want to die. I'm glad we agree on something. Yes, well, we did go down to the caravan. Then I would suggest you get out of here immediately. Ugh, let's go. Brother Pedro, remember that we have to go to Morocco, where we will meet Brother Francis. Losing our heads isn't on the agenda. If we leave now, we haven't failed. Yes, I agree, Brother Ferdinand.
on, Ferdinand, let's go. They are young. And they look well fed. The chief will be pleased. We'll see the light of the Lord and die as martyrs. It would be a great comfort, Pedro. But I hope that for now the Lord has not decided to call us to heaven just yet. Surely they carry something of value. Huh? Oh. These are only books, crosses, and tunics. We captured two Christians. They were disguised as Arabs. They must be spies. They aren't spies. They are two Christian priests. If they had been spies, they wouldn't have been carrying any of this. They are young and very healthy. We can sell them as slaves. And you know what we'll get? We'll get a mountain of gold. But, but boss, in Kalbat, in the slave market, someone might hear them speak and understand who they are. All of the merchants are Christians. The Christian merchants are only interested in buying horses. And in any case, if they want to continue to negotiate without bothering anyone, one, then they will keep their mouths shut. We will take them to Kalbat and sell them. All right, next up on the block. Our next auction will be for this group of five men, docile and very robust. They were sailors on one of our ships, a holy vessel of Allah, praise be to his holy name. They have never received lashes, have always eaten well, and can speak our language. I will now start the bidding at five pieces of silver. Who will make a bid? My offer is for six pieces of silver. In that case, I will bid seven. I will pay eight. How about it then? Will you bid nine or I not? I can't go past seven. Then these slaves are mine. Bring me the next group. These next two are an incredible bargain. They have good muscles and are in perfect health. They have only one small flaw. They can read and speak Latin, Spanish, and Italian, but they do not know our language. For the two, I will start the bidding at one piece of silver. One silver for two slaves. Who will make the first bid? Ah, ah, ah. Ah, they have no muscles. They wouldn't last two or three days. Who will buy these Christians for the price of a single piece of silver? I'll take them. Here's your piece of silver. Come with me, you two. I... <sighs> Welcome, brothers. <sighs> Welcome to my home. But I thought... Are you Brother Pedro? Do I have that right? Yes, I'm Brother Pedro, but how is it that you know my name? So therefore, that means that you are Brother Ferdinand. Yes, but who are you? I am Brother Rogelio, from Rimini, and this is Brother Serafino, and he is from Ancona. Ha! This is truly a miracle! You can thank Divine Providence, but also the carrier pigeon that you sent to us. Now, dear brothers, we are pleased to offer you basic hospitality. Clothes, food, and drink await you at our humble refuge. Hey, Peter, who's cooking at the Porzincola? Is it still Brother Ginepro? Yes, of course. He's still doing our cooking. Then you must be glad to travel. So you've had his cooking, but I'm sure you don't want to talk about Brother Ginepro. Just joking with you. Even brothers have to make room for levity. And is Francis still in Porzincola? Brother Francis is traveling as we are. He wanted to go to Puglia and find a boat that would bring him to Syria. He wished to go ashore there. But isn't that very far away, Brother Francis? Many saints and preachers have gone there to announce the word of Jesus and to see the places described in his gospel. But it's very dangerous. Christians are often persecuted there. Then they died as martyrs, preaching the holy word of God. Oh, 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 oh,
us steady. We have to avoid those rocks. Come here, Captain. Me. Hurry, we're going to run aground. Those fires. The coast is on the port side bow. Our torches were useless. We failed to guide the ship safely to shore. The Lord of Hosts allow our brothers to rest in peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come on. What a terrible thing to have happened. Give him this. Drink this broth, my brother. It will help to heal you. Uh, thank you, and God bless you. Thank the Lord you are alive, and you should also thank the Lord God for the Venetian sailors that are here to monitor the island. I always thank God, but I also thank you, and if it pleases you, I also thank the Republic of Venice. Once the northern winds die down, our boat will set sail for Ancona. From there, if you wish, you may find a ship that will take you and your friars all the way to Palestine. Yes, we will do that. Thank you very much, brother. Do you suppose that terrible storm was a sign? Maybe. Life and death are God's mystery. Without faith, it is difficult to understand. Then I shall pray for understanding, and thank the Lord that I didn't die without seeing the land of Palestine. That's your wish, but I have a different desire. Huh? Look! It's a family of dolphins! There are four of them escorting our boat! Brother Dolphins, with your silver tails, praise the Lord who has made you so beautiful! There's the coast off the starboard bow. At this speed, we should reach Ancona before sunset. The dolphins are leaving. They also travel under God's plan, all the way from Assisi to Ancona. We will rest for three days. We will listen to the silence of the forest, my brother. It was in the forest that I first spoke with the Lord. Brother Francis, you told me when we went on this trip that you were going to reveal something important to me. What were you talking about? Yes, it was very important. I will now teach you about perfect happiness. What is that? Would you like for all the friars to be examples of great holiness? Of course I would. It would surely be wonderful if all of us could live as examples of great holiness. Well, that's not all there is to perfect happiness. And if the young friars could give sight to the blind and help the lame to walk, give ear to the deaf and the speech to the mute, even that would not be perfect happiness. Though I understand why you think it might be. And if a young friar knew all men's languages and all his sciences and prophecy and be able to foretell not only the future but also the secrets of the human mind, that would still not be perfect happiness. Oh! Francis! Francis! Oh! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. He'll be all right, Brother Wolf. Be strong. On your feet, Brother Leo. It's time to move on. Yes, I'll get up. But please, Francis, tell me the secret of perfect happiness. If a monk could speak the language of the angels, knew the number of stars in the sky, and all the virtues of herbs, and all the treasure of earth were revealed to him, and he knew of all virtues, even that would not be perfect happiness. And even if the preaching of a friar converted all non-believers to have faith in Jesus Christ? No, Leo. Even if he converted everyone, even in that case, he would not have perfect happiness. So I ask you, on behalf of God, what is the secret of perfect happiness? I don't even see how it is possible to enjoy greater joy than in the examples you gave me. Tonight, when we come to the Porzinkula, I will show you the secret of perfect happiness. Why do I have to wait? Why is it only there that I can see perfect happiness with my own eyes? 
You must have faith. Let's go. Who's there at this hour of the night? Please answer him, Brother Leo. We are two of your brothers, Francis and Leo. Francis and Leo have died and gone to heaven. Go! Knock again, Brother Leo. Get out of here, you thieves! Go or have a taste of my discipline stick! Oh, no. Oh. He's new here and he doesn't know us. What do we do now, Francis? Now we give up and now we praise the Lord. And that, brother, is perfect happiness. For you see, it was the Apostle Paul who taught us the true glory of the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. You're right, Brother Francis. I understand. This is what you mean by perfect happiness. Come on, let us find shelter. Yes, I believe there is a small hut around here. <laughs> Look, this doorman will admit us. The welcome of this puppy is also perfect happiness, Francis. Do you need a candle, brother? The Lord is all the light we need tonight, Leo. You have the light of perfect happiness. <laughs> 